Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to share um, with everybody today was how I transport fish uh, long distances. I, I live pretty far. I like to breed, uh, you know, Corridoras and a few other things, and I live pretty far away from any market. In fact, my, my closest pet store is 45 miles away from where I live, so I have to transport my fish quite a ways every time I sell some fish. Um, and also when I moved I used similar methods but I've come up with a few different tricks that, that for transporting fish that I'd like to share like that might be helpful to other people so here's what it looks like when it's all set up I got my five gallon bucket here I'm using this uh, aeration pump uh, battery operated uh, it's one that I bought just at Alco when they were going out of business and it was just uh, I think I spent three dollars on it but I imagine it's typically about twenty dollars um, it's actually one that's used to keep bait fish alive uh, for fishermen. So, first thing you notice about my lid here that I use, I just use like a grocery bag on top. Uh, you could use a, a regular bucket lid for that, um, that would work just fine. I use the grocery bag because I'm usually, I'll put it, my uh, bucket in my back seat of my car typically, and I'll use, you know, behind the passenger seat or something, and I'll push that passenger seat back to kind of hold the bucket upright there between the, the front seat and the back seat and when you when you do that it it warps your bucket just a little it puts a little pressure on it and the lid will just pop off so instead I just use a grocery bag as a kind of a splash guard and that's all it really is so inside of here um, you see all my tanks are just chock full of java moss for the most part um, so I always just throw a little java moss in there to give the fish a place to hide and feel secure. Uh, you could use plastic plants and I think it would work just as well. Uh, just something for cover in there. You can see I've got a few Danios in here just to demonstrate. Um, the other thing I like to do is this piece of sponge. So this is uh, just a piece of seat cushion foam that I keep in a filter. So uh, so it's cycled and ready to go and all I have to do is I'll just stick this I've got a little uh, stainless steel nut on here to keep it weighed down and I cut a hole in my sponge here and then I can just it just works as a filter as I'm going and I what I do is I have several of these sponges over here in this uh, angel tank here you can see I've got to hang on the back filter on the back of that tank this is a little cheap one that comes with a a 10 gallon tank kit that somebody gave me and inside that hang on the back filter I keep that sponge so here's the identical sponge to the one that was in that bucket it's got the slit on the bottom right there and that is just always in there so that it's always charged up with bacteria and ready to go for when I need it when I when I haul fish I'll take that out put it in the bucket and then I'll just slip another one in there and get it started um, and I keep a, a pre-filter on that as well just to keep the gunk out of the, the sponge inside the filter. So uh, this, this setup works really well. I've used it even overnight. You know, most t fish can handle a little bit of a temperature drop. It, you know, from if you're keeping your tank at 75 and room temperature 72, you know, when you get to wherever you're going, say you stay at a hotel, um, they don't seem to mind too much as long as it's not for a really long extended period of time so I don't worry about a heater but I just try to keep them in places that are as warm as I can um, I've taken fish overnight using this method uh, and I use it all the time to haul I can put 40 quarries in a bucket like this and haul them up to where I sell them and keep them in this bucket for you know eight hours plus and have really no issues at all um, so just a little something I like to hang this blower on the, because I, when I have the cover on, I can't hang the blower on the side of the bucket, so I just hang it down on the handle like that while we're traveling. And a set of batteries in there, a set of C batteries will usually last you, oh, eight hours or so. So if you're going longer than eight hours, be sure to plan for extra batteries. So, yeah, that's it. That's my method I use for transporting fish. Hope it helps somebody out there. and. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments about it. Thanks.